The first sign of grass at Everton's new stadium has begun to be visible after the first shoot broke through the uh, the sand and the membrane and all of that stuff, the technical stuff, um, as the development at Everton's new stadium continues. Uh, it's created a, like I said, a little tinge of green on the pitch, which means it brings the whole stadium to life. Um, protector blankets have been removed, revealing the fledgling playing surface, which is allowing next to allow the use of specialist machinery, which will be brought into stitch fibres into the roots in order to strengthen them. This means that, obviously, it means the grass is more hard wearing. It's why you're seeing now lots of stadiums still with grass on in March, April, after the winter, because they are part synthetic. Goodison always looks tremendous, even in those difficult months and this uh, this process has already begun at the stadium, which, let's be honest, looks finished. There's obviously a lot of fitting out to do inside, um, but just looking at it, obviously we see the, the drone footage and all that. Now you are starting to see the little bits of green coming through. In a few weeks, it'll be like a full playing surface, won't it? Obviously, Everton want stuff done, want it to be ready for test events in 2025. Um and it's just full steam ahead now, isn't it? So it, it is, that brings it to life, I think. You've seen, obviously, once sort of like the sand was down and that you could see sort of what it was going to look like. But with the with the actual grass growing there now, it does bring the whole stadium to life. So, listen, it's the only bit of positive news at the minute, isn't it? So we have to double down on it. But, um, yeah, it looks really good. Uh, going from that bit of positive news to match officials, which aren't my favourite subject, they have been confirmed for Saturday's trip to West Ham United. The referee is Stuart Atwell. He's not great, in my opinion. Uh, and he will be assisted by Konstantin Hatzidakis and a welcome return for Wade Smith. Uh, obviously, you know, there's a very famous shop in Liverpool, but he is uh, running the line now, so fair play to him. Uh, the VAR for the match is Darren England. So there you go, just in case you wanted that info, you've now got it. Everton of today being linked with Belgium wide player Stanis Ndumbo. He is at Sevilla. He has uh, got four appearances this season, scored one goal, and it was against Barcelona. Um, he has picked up a abductor injury at the moment, so he's missing for a few weeks. He is a product of the Ajax Academy Everton monitoring. Aston Villa also apparently interested in him as well. He is very, very highly rated, can play wide, right or left. Um, exactly the type of talent you want to see Everton linked with. I think we'll see more and more of this, particularly uh, when the takeover goes through the freaking uh, group. I thought to be, you know, certainly um, big fans of, of getting players on 23 and under, developing the team, some to sell, some for the team. So I think we'll see more and more of this. Comes off the back, of, you know, we were linked with Chris Rigg. That circle sort of circulated again today. Very highly rated Sunderland player. Obviously, he's been watched by Liverpool, Manchester United and others as well. Everton, very interested in him. So it's good to see them being linked with this kind of player. Got to get them though, haven't you? Being linked's one thing, being able to get them is another. And finally, Beto was being linked with moving away from Everton yet again today. This time it is Juventus. Apparently they're very interested in taking the Everton frontman in January. There's talks, Cal Calcio McCarthy talking about a loan, others talking about a permanent deal. Uh, he obviously scored last week, was unlucky, a millimetre. Um, on two occasions, I guess, hit the bar when he probably should have scored, but, you know, an inch lower he'd have scored, and he was, what, millimetres offside, wasn't he? He took his goal really well. Unfortunately, it was ruled out by VAR, but he is still being linked with an exit from Everton, so we'll have to wait and see what happens there. That is it for the News Daily. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. If you want to become a Toffee TV Premier member, the link is in the description and the QR code on the screen now. See you later.